8,000 British troops and tanks, helicopters sent to Eastern Europe. One of the biggest deployments of British army soldiers and tanks since the Cold War will take place in Eastern Europe this year. As a result of the invasion of Ukraine, NATO intends to send tens of thousands of more soldiers to nations such as Finland and North Macedonia this summer. Finland and Sweden, two members of the Joint Expeditionary Force, will also be present. To illustrate how Britain's military has evolved into a lethal, nimble, and global force, according to the MOD, the exercises are being held. Since Russia's invasion of its neighbor in late February, the activity has been beefed up in retaliation. Scott Sibley, a veteran of the British Armed Services who fought in the Commando Logistics Support Squadron in Afghanistan, was confirmed as the first British fatality in Ukraine just yesterday. The UK contributes a substantial contribution to the defence of Europe and the deterrent of Russian aggression, said Commander Field Army Lieutenant General Ralph Woodis. It is essential to both that the British Army conducts a series of drills. Deterrence will be at a level unprecedented in Europe this century because of the size of the deployment, combined with British Army professionalism, training and agility. Between April and June, roughly 8,000 British military soldiers will be stationed on the continent. Exercise Arrow will take place in Finland, which shares an 830-mile land border with Russia and B Squadron of the Queen's Royal Hussars has already deployed there. Nearly 20,000 NATO soldiers will participate in Exercise Hedgehog, which will take place in Estonia and Latvia on the Estonia-Latvia border next month. A wide variety of troops will be involved in Estonia's largest military exercise, Hedgehog, which takes place every four years. This includes light and airborne forces as well as helicopters and armoured forces. Additionally, Polish forces are participating in joint drills with American counterparts in the United States. The security of Europe is more vital than it has ever been, according to Defence Secretary Ben Wallace. The Joint Expeditionary Force and NATO allies and partners will participate in these exercises, which will be the biggest joint deployment since the Cold War.